Hi guys, welcome to the video for the brokenhearted. So this is going to be for anyone who is feeling like they have a broken heart right now. Um, we do have Mercury in retrograde um, aligned with Venus, um, also aligned with the Sun and Pluto. So there could be some major transformations, um, breakups, or um, anything else that could be going on due to um, misunderstandings. Mercury retrograde is like communication errors or problems that are missed phone calls, somebody not calling you back, um, delayed flights, traffic jams. It's kind of this communication error. But it can also be in the house of, because um, it's in the 10th house of achievement, it can be something to do with like um, publicity or somebody sort of like doing bashing. So, but this is going to be about for the brokenhearted. So let's see what we have here coming in for the brokenhearted. Two of Pentacles. You're trying to manage a situation. Um, possibly you have options or choices. Somebody looks like they're cutting you out or not talking to you. Um, the root of the issue is they are in this energy of passing or just like not showing that they want to have fun. Like, I don't want to have fun. In the past here, somebody was really all about, you know, getting attention and going out and having a good time. Very showy. Okay. On your mind is this page of water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person who could be sending you messages. Okay, what's coming into the future here for this strength card? Could be Leo. There could be something that required you to draw upon your inner strength. Um, okay, your energy is Seven of Cups. You don't really know how to feel. It's very mixed, like mixed feelings, even confusion. Like you could feel confused. We have a Four of Wands here. The environment the person is in is stable. The environment is stable, okay? So there could be time off. You're waiting, seven of coin, to hear back from someone, either about money, finance, or investments. Also about, you feel possibly like you're in a seven. So you're waiting for something to close out a cycle. You might be needing closure. Okay, we do get an Ace of Cups here. Very powerful new feelings about a situation. I also got Temperance. So you're being really patient with a person. You could be, it could be a test of your patience. Somebody could be going out, showing off. Um, they care more about like, Here, maybe it's you, it could be them. You're confused though. The viewer is confused. It could also be that you have choices or options. Um, it is the energy of Neptune, Pisces. I'm sorry, no, it's not. It's Venus Scorpio. Okay, so what is Seven of Cups? Why do you feel Seven of Cups about this? Mixed feelings five of coin. You feel like somebody left you out in the cold. They didn't come through for you. Um, you're waiting for them to come through. What is the four of wands? Hermit. You could get some wisdom from someone. Um, you could get some information. The hermit is somebody who does provides information, shines the light on a situation. 
What is the Page of Cups? It's also Virgo. So what do we have for our Page of Cups on your mind? Emperor, okay. Power with a Page of Water. Okay, so it could be getting a message from an Aries. It could also be getting somebody power tripping because somebody's in a position of power and somebody's like a little, just a page of the water. What is the Four of Cups here? What is the Four of Cups? Somebody is doing things because they want power over the other person. Um, it's not making you feel any better. You have to draw upon your inner strength Page of Swords. They could be watching, observing, talking. Okay, so there's some confusion about how you feel. You have mixed feelings. You don't necessarily feel like this person is giving you enough. Um, the bottom is a Ten of Cups. So what you don't see is there's a lot of happiness here. There could be something to do with the house, um, um, a friend, a sister. There's a lot of messaging, page of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could be dodging phone calls. Um, because we have here the moon hidden and seven of swords wanting to, wanting to hide information or wanting to just like not answer the phone for some reason. Um, Okay, so around you is a stable environment, but there is somebody shedding light on a situation. The root of the issue is somebody acts unenthused, like they don't care, or they just couldn't care less. You are Seven of Cups, Five of Coins. What is the viewer going through right now? What is the viewer going through right now? Oh boy. <clears throat> Look, it's the Seven of Cups in the Tower. Something is really confusing, shocking, or surprising. Like, you just don't understand. Like, you could be trying to figure it out. You could be trying to figure out how you feel. Bottom of the deck is the Emperor. Aries energy, personal power, confidence, self-made, Queen of Water, Queen of Coins, stability, juggling, Somebody is trying to compromise. Wow, this page of cups, this could be um, a really annoying flirty person. It could be a person who is flirty, but they're very naive. So if you already made a point about this person, Queen of Swords is also the root of the issue. Somebody may have been mad at you for making a statement and then, so this is like a boomerang. See the moon and the justice. There could be somebody who's getting a divorce and you don't know this. The hermit wisdom, the truth. Somebody is gonna give you the truth about a situation that they've been holding back. Okay. So, what is this um, energy of, it's a test of your strength. So what do we have here? A lover as well. So there is a choice. It could be a romantic situation. Why is the person four of cups? Wow. Queen of the wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very confident. But then we have here like a betrayal or a feeling of feeling betrayed. What is this Page of Cups doing? <laughs> they are hangmen. They're just not really doing anything. They're just sacrificing. They're laying there. They're just hanging there, waiting. What is the Ace of Cups here? Six of Coin. Okay, there is something here being given that you want because you want seven which means you want more, like a refund, you want more than you put in. You're feeling like somebody took it 
I don't want to say take advantage of, like they may have charged you more or they took more from you. They're going to give you the value. They're going to give you something to make things fair. Um, what is this lovers about here? Here we go. Yeah, this is hurtful for so for some reason. Maybe you just don't feel included in something. Three of Swords. Maybe you feel like somebody is a player. Um, what is the Four of Wands around? Hierophant. Institutionalized energy. Okay. The environment calls for order. Fool. Somebody is just living in the moment, doing whatever they want to do. Taking leaps of faith, doing whatever they want to do. Why does this cause a tower for the viewer? Why does this cause a tower? Because you did something where you demanded. You made a demand. Like you put your foot down and you demanded something. Um, it feels hurtful, the moon. Something is hidden. You could be quite angry, to be honest. There could be angry text going out right here. What is the Three of Swords about? Oh my gosh, it's something about a family, a home, a situation where two people are, you know, in a connection. Um, it's almost like you feel like this person betrayed your trust because they're not putting in what they said they were going to put in. They are going to give it to you. So this Knight of Coin, they are going to give you what you're wanting. You might have to demand it. Okay. Oh, wow. What is the Emperor about here? Personal power. Somebody acts like they're entitled. I don't know. Because then we have a Six of Swords. So it's like somebody wants to avoid a person who acts entitled. The person is living in the moment in a situation. They're very free, very liberated. But... So there's almost like two people here who are acting like teenagers there one person's offering the cup the other person's offering a coin and you feel like this is unacceptable like this is not acceptable the outcome though is like you feel like a five of coin you either feel like you're left out in the cold or you feel like something like that but you are given whatever it is you're seeking Show me the outcome here for the brokenhearted person. Oh, karma. This is good. So the karma is going to hit the fan. This person owes it to you. They hurt your feelings. They did something. Um, and then here comes karma. Like here comes, you know, you reap what you sow. So what is this judgment going to be about here? What is this karma? Show us the karma. Look at this. You're going to get, the viewer is going to get something that they are wanting or needing. Um, all right. Very good. King of water. There's someone here who is very compassionate. They are a mature person. There could be two people here. Oh, look at this. So we have two people who are mature grown-ups. We have somebody who feels left out in the cold. insufficiencies and shortages. We have somebody here getting a lot of attention. So the light is shining on someone here who has a lot of money, possibly. There's wisdom here and there is justice. So there could be information, legal information. Bide your time and be patient and do something in moderation. Don't flip out. Okay. So I will leave it there. Thank you for tuning in and take care.